Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to show how to make an app's menu bar fit below a MacBook Pro's display notch when Apple unveiled its MacBook Pro models with a notch to house the camera. In the thinner display bezel, many users saw it as a potential problem for third-party apps that place additional content across the menu bar, such as menus that extend from the left to menu items that extend from the right. However, it turns out Apple was wise to the potential issue of having menus or menu items in the menu bar inadvertently being hidden behind the notch. In macOS Monterey, it includes a compatibility setting called Scale to Fit Bellow built-in camera which adjusts an app setting so that it either uses the whole display or uses only the area below the camera housing. That all being said, let's learn how to make an app's menu bar fit below a MacBook Pro display notch. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. It's worth pointing out that the scale to fit ensures that the menu bar and app windows appear below the built-in camera on your Mac and are always visible. Moreover, if the app has menu bar items or windows that would appear behind the camera housing all open apps or apps that say the same space appear below the camera until you quit the app using the scaled setting. First and foremost, make sure to close the app that you want to adjust for the notch, then launch Finder and select the Applications folder. Next, right-click the icon for the app in question and choose Get Info. Then check the box next to Scale to Fit below the built-in camera. That's pretty much it. Now you have to restart the app and as it launches, you should see the screen automatically scale to fit its entire menu bar below the notch area, ensuring all the app's menu bar items stay visible. That's really neat, isn't it? That's all there is to it. So that's the way you can make an app's menu bar fit below a MacBook Pro's display notch. Now that you know how it works, make the most of it to get rid of the annoying issue. If you have found this video helpful, make sure to like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy macOS tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.